if you want to know how i cook these noodles with pork beans sausage links and regular sausage along with onions watch along and please remember to like subscribe welcome to my channel and if you have already subscribed i thank you very much please hit the notification bell so anytime i post something that will be of benefit you'll be the first to know thanks for watching let's dive in welcome again to get knowledge today i'll be showing you how to cook noodles with pork and beans you don't have to use this many onions i like onions in my food so it depends on how many onions you want and i'll be using this type of sausage links for the noodles i'll be cooking these noodles i'll be cooking four of them so it depends on how many you want and how you want it and i'll be using the can pork and beans today so you are welcome let us get cooking to start with i will definitely have to slice the onions and sometimes i want my onion in particular way so however you want your onions you slice it that way so we take our sausage and we cut cut your sausage to any size you want your sausage but i'm cutting this a little bit tiny because i want it a little bit tiny not too much but as you can see i don't want it like very big in it i'm going to add this type of sausage with it so i brought it out and here's the sausage i want the mixture of two different sausage in the food as you can see the sausages are looking different brown sausage is from here the browning serve original fully cooked sausage links so these are sausage links these ones right here they are sausage links so for anyone who is wondering what kind of sausage is this it's sausage links and this is sausage we slice both of them we'll pack it in a separate plate till it's time to use it at this point this one is ready to go i'll set it aside and cover it somewhere we have the onions ready and two different kind of sausages ready so we're going to set them aside i am not paid to advertise but if you are looking for a very good can opener this is a very good can opener very very good can opener so i'm just um helping somebody out there all you have to do is open up this session on it like towards the back you open it towards the back you get a battery i let my battery inside i noticed the battery was running out on time so what i do is whenever i use it finish i take out the battery and i keep my battery in the cabinet so you put your battery inside you you go this way and then you click it see how it works all you just need to do is put it on top of your can that you want to open and press the button have a look at that it does the job on its own you don't have to touch it notice the sound towards the end for you to know that it's opened just press it that's it i love this kind of opener i'm telling you like i went to buy a second one it says press button to start press button to stop let me see if you can read that can you read that press button to start press button to start press button to stop it's a very good kind of opener 
line up edge here i tell you since i've been using it i really really love it so once i finish using it like that since i'm only opening one can what i usually do is i open it back up like i told you at the initial stage you open it back up you face it to yourself and then i bring out the battery and i store the battery in my cabinet till another time that's a very neat very clean you don't have to do anything else and then i close it back up see no cleaning nothing no mess you and there's no issue of the edges getting rusted or stained or anything if it does you clean it out you can see it's very i tell you i really really like this product it's a very nice product and let's see the pen that it's opened have a look at it see it's a very nice product i tell you you just all you just need to do is open it up and that's it so if you are looking for a very good can opener check it out it's a very nice product so now that we've opened this like i said i'm not being paid for this okay i'm just saying this out there no one is paying me for that i am not commercializing for anybody so i'm not being paid i'm just letting someone out there know that so now let's take our beans now that it's opened and let's pour it in a separate plate so that we have it ready the first thing i'm going to do i'll be using the grape seed oil i'll put a little bit in the pot use any kind of oil that you want so the next thing i'll pour onions after about two or three minutes pour your sausage stir it together what you are trying to get out is you are trying to get a crispy brown onions while the sausage is in there all right at this point this is tied to some essence you take it out at this point have a look at that that is kind of like crispy brown so we set it aside so using the same pot as you can see i went ahead to put some water for the noodles since i did not use any seasoning for the sausage and onions that i did earlier i'm going to be seasoning my noodles you can either use your noodle seasoning or use another kind of seasoning i made this one at home somewhere right there on my page on my channel how i did the all-purpose blended all in one season with herbs at home so i just reuse another bottle i'm going to put some of it in the pot some nutmeg some ginger some ground turmeric so determine the amount of the ingredients you need or you want in your food according to the amount of food you are cooking curry powder cloves onion powder white pepper this white pepper has the tendency to be pepperish so be careful if you are not really used to white pepper if you want to put pepperish you can put the amount you want and if you don't want it pepperish put the amount you want but i want this noodles a little bit pepperish so that's why i'm putting a little more but i can tell you this is going to be very pepperish i can tell you right there white pepper it's very good read up on white pepper it's very good the seasoning salt so i have the white salt but i prefer the seasoning salt again like i said determine the spice according to the amount of food you are cooking using some crushed pepper i made this at home myself it's somewhere in my channel how i made this at home i made this crushed red pepper myself i know i've added some white pepper earlier so i'm being careful i just wanted my noodles to just you know have that red pepper in it as you can see i have my spices right here for my noodles I made this all purpose blended all in one herbs with few seasoning somewhere on my channel how i did it i just reused the peanuts bottle so can recycle 
if you want i'm not gonna pull a lot since i'll be putting beans but i want the abs in it that's why i'm using it so now i'll go ahead and turn on my cooker now my cooker is turned on it's time to throw the noodles like i said you can choose to use the noodle spice if you want but i'm not using them so this is like warm water to hot water since the food is already steaming i did not take i do not have the cold water i just added like warm water so when this steams together the good thing about this method is when it steams together your noodles also steams together with it but if you have the patience um depending on how soon you want your food to be done you can first cover the sauce and let it steam together then you pour your noodles in it or you can also use this method as you can see the noodles barely have any water in it i did not cover the pot at all i left it open have a look at that i don't know if you can see it i'm trying to blow off the steam you can see that my noodles is cooked no water nothing inside have a look at that so at this point you had your onions and sausage that i fried earlier remember it has the noodles has no water when you are cooking please ensure like i always say in my channel ensure that whatever you cook you try as much as you can to cook very healthy very very healthy because remember our stomach does not have a door where you can say let me get the key and let me you know open the door and take out what i have eaten you know or something so whatever you eat make sure you stay healthy cook well and um, the lord will help us you know so as you can see the noodles actually at this point is ready to eat but that is not the end product of these noodles our proteins is right there of the truth it has the sausage it has the onions you know but the interesting part of this is our beans so for the beans we are going to add it little by little you're not going to add it at once you add a little by little for the beans as you can see then you add a little add it little by little you don't want to crowd it you don't want to mess up your food remember my food is on low my nude i put the stove on low because you don't want your food to burn as you can see there's no water in the food at all so you want to be very careful so at this point we had the whole thing including don't be afraid to have the sauce of your beans or a little water from your beans at all so we get the rest in there is ready on the side i cook some eggs on the side to eat with this having rinsed the plate it's time to serve all right at this point the beans is um warm inside you're careful you don't want to mess up your egg the stuff is on low eat as you can see and um the food is ready turn off the stove and now you can serve enjoy your meal now let's serve look at that the beans the pork beans the sausage the noodles i mean this is not just eating carbs this is protein right here you know another way to get your children to eat protein right here and the egg 
If you want to use some chicken, you can use chicken, meat, whatever you want beside it. But for me, I'm okay with the egg. Here it is. Our food is ready. Here is our noodles with pork, beans, sausage, and honeys. Isn't that looking very lovely? Here is the noodles. I'm going to be enjoying this food today with the vitamin malt. You can use this for lunch, however you want it. Join me viewers, friends, and let's eat. There's this food, Lord, we beg you. We provide for those that have none to eat, Lord Jesus, and bless their food as you provide for them. Bless our food, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That is very, very nice. Quite pepperish. Remember I told you the white pepper is pepperish? But the beans gave it a very nice taste. The sausage links. The sausage, the onions, very crunchy, well fried. Give this a try, you will like it. Come back and comment, please. And let me know how well you love this. Thank you for watching. And God bless you. Remember to stay blessed, stay holy, stay righteous. And I pray when the rapture sound, none of us will miss heaven. Till another time, friends, stay blessed and remain blessed. Thank you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you.